Hey guys, welcome to Sham's Garden. In my previous video, you may have watched how ants and aphids can destroy your plants. In today's video, it's gonna be quite different because the aphids had spread to my terrace garden. And I'm gonna show you how to control them. Some of you have asked me why can't I use chemical fertilizers? Well, yes, chemical has quite a good effect on plants and pests or diseases. But the problem being that whichever food you may consume will have that chemical residue in it. How much ever you may wash or boil them or even strain them for million times, the chemical residue will be always in it. For example, even till now until 2008, DDT was used for agriculture purposes too. Well, DDT has quite a lot of ill effects on humans if they were consumed. Well, there are still residues of DDT in the food that we consume. For example, like Coca-Cola and Pepsi that you consume. Well, they may also have been contaminated with DDT. Well, you may ask how. Well, the DDT that you spray on your plants will seep through the soil and go to the ground. And they have contaminated the groundwater too. So, the companies which used to pump these through huge bore wells and use them for their drinking and packaging industries, well, they do have DDT in it. So if you're gonna drink these kind of foods or junk foods, drinks, beverages, I'm not gonna stop you. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you on how to make GTA spray. Well, GTA means ginger, turmeric, asafoetida powder and acetic acid. Asafoetida powder is just an additional thing that I'm using. You can add asafoetida powder for increasing effect or efficacy. But if you don't want them, you could just spray ginger, turmeric and acetic acid only. So let's get to the video. The ingredients that you will need is vinegar. You can use fruit vinegar or non fruit vinegar, it depends up to your choice. And you will need some asafoetida powder, some turmeric, and 30 to 40 grams of ginger for about 2 liters of spray. Well, I am using a hand mortar and pestle because it's really special and it really helps the juice to come out of it. If you're going to use a mixie, it works but it's gonna shred things into pieces but the juice won't actually come out we'll add a teaspoon full of turmeric powder and you'll need half a teaspoon of asafoetida powder well i'm saying this calculation for two liters of water that two liters of water includes vinegar too so that's about 1750 ml of water 250 ml of vinegar, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of asafoetida, and 30 to 40 grams of ginger. Break the ginger into really small pieces or use a knife to cut them down. The reason for using acetic acid or vinegar is because it deters ant, so automatically the aphids don't have any kind of protection. And the reason for using turmeric, asafoetida powder and some ginger is because soft-bodied insects really deter these three things. All these three things contain phenols. Well, there's different kind of phenols like asafoetida has ampelipheron and turmeric has curcumin or cuminaldehyde. There's a lot of lot of phenols in them. These phenols react with the soft-bodied insects or pests and especially adults don't get affected the nymphs will automatically ingest this and they'll die so i'll show them in this video so make it into a paste like thing and you need to strain them really well such that it doesn't get clogged in your spray bottle you can see these white small things are the nymphs and the yellow ones are the adults if you haven't watched my last video on how ants and aphids interact Please do go and watch them. I leave a link above. Click the i button and watch my previous video. You can see there's really lot of aphids in here, especially adult ones. Well, aphids can be in a lot of colors like white, yellow, black, brown. So 
So I poured them in acetic acid and kept them aside for an hour. I'm gonna strain it and use it for spraying now. Make sure to spray on the top and bottom sides of the leaves. Don't try to spray only on the top because if it's don't really stay on the top side of the leaves, they crawl and get to the bottom due to sunlight. So use a power sprayer or a mechanical hand sprayer to force spray under the leaves and try to dislodge them before spraying this. It will really actually work out. The nymphs will dry out and the adults will remain and they'll reproduce. Well, there'll be a considerable amount of pest remaining. But that's what nature is, you have to leave as it is. And there'll be predatory insects too. You can spray on all soft bodied insects and it'll really work. So see you in my next video. Thank you.